You're starting to scare me. Why are you scared? Well, normally leading your date somewhere blindfolded can be romantic, but with you, I'm scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. I know. Then why are you scared? If anything gross touches me, I am leaving. Nothing gross. Open your eyes. See? It's not scary, right? No, not scary. Cheesy, but not scary. <laughs> Don't pretend you don't love it. I know you do. I definitely love it. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. On one hand, dinner dates are boring and lame, and you're always cooking for everybody else, so I wanted to cook for you. You made this? <laughs> no, this is all store-bought. I tried to cook for you, but everything came out gross and weird, and I didn't want to feed you gross and weird food. <laughs> Thank you, Max. It's, it's perfect. Your phone's buzzing. I don't have my phone. <sighs> it's your lover. Oh my god, please don't call him that. <sighs> hey, babe, what's up? I was thinking about you. Can I come over? Uh... Actually, I almost broke right now. Come on, it's been forever. Fucking dramatic. Forever? I'm sure it hasn't been that long. It's been weeks. I barely even see you at work anymore. I have to go. Have you stopped having sex with Danny? Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? I mean, why? No reason. I just think I wasn't expecting you to stop having sex with him. I don't know, you don't seem like a one person kind of girl to me. I know, I'm a slut, you can stop bringing it up. You're cute when you're nervous. I'm nervous? You're the one who's shaking. No, what, are yeah. you? Yeah, your heart is beating so fast. <laughs> are you dying? I feel like it. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you having sex with anyone else? No. Okay. I mean, did you just stop having sex with everyone? Jesus, how many people did you think I was sleeping with? It's just a question. Well, are you sleeping with anyone else? No. So then why does it matter? I don't know, it's just a question. Hey, hey, don't get mad at me, I'm sorry. Um, we can do that nurse thing if you want, if it'll cheer you up. You'll do it. <laughs> yeah, if it'll make you stop pouting. Well, it'll definitely make me stop <laughs> pouting. Okay, let's do it. It's good, right? I already told you it was good. I just want to make sure you like it. Why are you so nervous around me? <laughs> I'm not nervous. You act like I'm going to bite your head off. <laughs> if you do anything wrong. I just, I don't want to screw this up. You won't. How do you know that? This is all so new to me. I've never liked someone this much, this fast. Doesn't that terrify you too? Yes, of course, but I like you, you like me. I'm not gonna put you on your ass because I didn't like the chicken you brought. <laughs> what if it was the burnt chicken that I tried to cook? I would appreciate the effort. <laughs> How are you so amazing? I'm just born this way. That's right, of course. Aren't you gonna tell me that I'm amazing? Do I have to tell you you're amazing? A hundred percent. You, Max Cooper, are 100% amazing. Well, now I don't know what to say. Did you bring dessert? Of course. Then bring it on. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why are you asking? You have the look on your face. What look? The look you get before you get all serious. I didn't know I had a look. What's wrong? I feel like I have to ask you something. Ask what? 
I'm afraid that if I ask you, you'll get mad. Oh, don't be mad. Look, Isabel, from the moment that you moved in and started to get to know each other, I realized how much you mean to me. I don't want to stop talking to you or stop hanging out. Why would we? I have to tell you something. I have a thing for this girl. I've dated plenty of girls, but none of them have made me feel the way that she does. And when I look at her, well, I've never liked someone as much as I like her. But the thing is, I don't know if I should make a move. I'm worried that if I do, I will ruin everything that we have right now. And normally I'd say, fuck it. I'd go for it, and if I get turned down, I get turned down. But I can't do that this time. I would rather stay stuck right where we are than to risk losing her or not being able to talk to her. What do you think I should do? You're an amazing person, Candace. I'm sure she wants you in her life, too. If she wants you to tell her, you'll know. You really think I'll know? I think you'll know. Okay. What does this mean for my job? What? Well, I'm dating my boss now, right? What does this mean for my job? <laughs> what, do you think I'm gonna fire you? What? Is, isn't it against store policy? I'm the shift supervisor. I don't think they'll care. Can I kiss you at work then? No, that's unsanitary. <laughs> what? We work with food. We're making coffee. With your mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> then how is it unsanitary? By just being unsanitary. Jeez, where did your mind go just now? I think you've had enough of this. <laughs> your eyes are very pretty. I just want to scoop them out and eat them up. <laughs> I think you've had enough of this. Because I said your eyes are pretty? No, because you said you want to scoop them out and eat them. I mean, I notice them when I'm sober, too. Should I be hiding my eyes? No, I like looking at them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, we are in a park. Uh-huh. We're in public, Zari. Nobody's out here. Not like this. We were gonna do it in the parking lot. Well, no, we weren't, and we didn't, remember? I remember. Is it me? No. Do you not want to be with me? No, that's not it. I just, I don't want it to be because of booze or in a parking lot. I, I want everything about our relationship to be perfect. Probably the sweetest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> you need some sweeter people in your life. All I said was I didn't want to have sex with you in the dirt. Max? Yeah? Thank you for being amazing. <laughs> Thank you for being so perfect. Not right important! Now. Okay, what's wrong? Emmett showed up when I was on my date with Finn. Wait, they were both there? Yes, Emmett seemed really freaked out by it. Was Finn freaked out? He said he needs to up his game to compete with how cute Emmett is. Wait, you called Emmett cute? Yeah. Finn's gay? Yeah. I'm too drunk for this. Why are they drunk? I brought some alcohol on our date. It may not have been the best idea. They said some weird shit. This fairy has no filter when drunk. Okay, well, the two of you have no filter when sober, so... Meh. I'm gonna have to pick one of them soon. God! I don't want to. I don't know what to do. Sounds like some good drama. It's not drama. All she has to do is pick between two perfectly amazing guys. Perfect amazing guys? I thought I was the only one. Yeah, well, now there's apparently three of you. Three perfect guys? Gotta meet these fellas, see what all the hype is about. 
Did you just say Phyllis? So what if I did? Both of you need to shut up. You're not helping. Are you sure you're not just stuck between a rock and a hard place? You make it sound like they're both shit, but they're two completely sweet, kind, and nice guys. Okay, I get it. You can't choose. But I am also a sweet, considerate, cute guy, so I can help you choose. Alright, leave her alone. Do I hear something about hot guys? Do the resident streets have something to say? Resident streets? Shove it. How did they go? She had a bit of a mix-up. A mix-up? I know, what happened? Um, Emmett showed up on her date with Finn. What he means is she doesn't want to talk about it. I already gave you my two cents on this. You know which one I prefer. Like you give a shit about who you think is better. Fuck, dude, I'm just saying one is obviously better. One of them is not better. On the count of three. One, two, three. Three. And, and Like I said, not a clear answer. Wow, you guys are really just like out here all the time, huh? You do realize this is our apartment, right? Yeah, sorry. I'm just gonna grab some water. Help yourself. It's not your house. Ari, can I call you Ari? No. Okay, Ariana. Why don't you just, do they know you're dating both of them? Yeah. And they're both okay with that? Yep. Then why not just date both of them, get to know them a little more and then decide? Wait, hold on, you're dating two guys right now? Kind of. Okay, well, player. I am not a player. I'm dating. Isn't that what dating actually is? Figuring out which one you really want to date? Is it? What's the first guy like? Finn is charming. And so easy to talk to. I feel like you could talk to him about anything and he would never judge me. He brings me smoothies and paints and makes me cookies whenever he's thinking about me. And the other guy? Emmett. Emmett looks like a stereotypical jock, but he's not. He's completely different than what I thought he would be. He's so nice and down to earth and always laughing and happy. Found it. The series of social engagements shared by a couple looking to get married. Wait, hold on. You're going to marry one of them? No, I'm not getting married. Not anytime soon. Brooke, what are you doing? Uh, Ariana's having a crisis. Ariana's always having a crisis. Up until two weeks ago, you were bitching about Brooke. Sorry I can't fuck my way out of all of my problems. Oh, fuck you. Why don't you tell Raylan what happened? Maybe she can help. Fat chance. Where the hell have you been? I've been here. Why are you so quiet? I just don't know what to do. Oh, here comes the email. Why don't you just not date men? If only it were that easy. What's wrong with men? Come on. What, what is, is it? it? <laughs> okay, haha, funny. Okay, I think I'd like to go to sleep now. Yeah. Do you want some water or some pain medication? I got it. Brooke, come on. Okay, uh, Ariana, I hope you figure it out. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> I hate both of them.